you can connect Zapier and Eduflow to unlock some really powerful features that will save you loads of time. In this video, I'll show you how I will um, automatically tag a bunch of learners in this um, onboarding course that I have. That I have. Um, the problem though is that to manually tag all of these learners at one at a time will take quite a long time. So I would have to go and click on sales for one person and then sales for another person. Um, and you can see this will take quite some time, especially if I've got a very big team or a very big company and I need to tag a bunch of people at once. So we can use Zapier to make this much faster. Um, what I have here is a spreadsheet on Airtable with um, an email, the name of the, the employee and um, a tag or a, a, a selection um, with their department. And I want to tag these employees as um, uh, on Eduflow as IT and I want to tag these employees as marketing and so forth. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to prepare my spreadsheet and I've got my email addresses as one column, name as another column, the, the, the name doesn't have to be there, um, and then the department as a selection type column. The first thing I'm going to do is prepare my Airtable um, uh, table uh, for the transfer. And what I'm going to do here is to create a filter view for only IT. So I'll click on filter over here and add a condition. And I want the uh, where, where, not email address, I want it to say where department is IT. Now it limits this grid view to only where you can see the IT department um, employees. Once I've got my Airtable ready, um, I can go into uh, Eduflow to make sure that I actually have the tags for the different departments. So I do have an IT department selected here or selectable here in the course that I want to use. Then when I'm ready and I know that um, uh, the, uh, everything is set up in Eduflow and in Airtable, I can go over to Zapier and Zapier um, can create zaps. But if you go down, you can also create transfers. And a transfer is a way to send a bunch of, of um, uh, data at once instead of um, needing a trigger. So I'll click on transfers and then I'll click on new transfer. In the first step, I need to select a source. Uh, the source app is my spreadsheet, which is Airtable. So here I select Airtable and the source data will be a record. The destination app will be Eduflow. So I'll type in Eduflow. And importantly, the action here is to tag a learner. So I want to add a tag to a learner. Then I'm gonna click on next. Now I have to connect my Airtable account with uh, Zapier. And um, I've already done so, but you'll be prompted to connect your Airtable account. Um, then once you've connected, uh, you can select uh, the, the Airtable uh, base and table you'd like to use. So I've selected that. Um, the base I want to select is um, team members. And my table is table one. And the view uh, is grid view. So uh, I'm selecting limit to view here because I want to only have or do a transfer the IT department. Um, and because I've used a filter, I can only, or Zapier will only see this department. And it makes it easier later on when I want to change the department to marketing or sales. So I'm going to say grid view and that grid view is the actual filter view that I've got over there. Next, um, we can just ignore this. We can keep it false. And finally, I can connect my Eduflow account and select the course that I want to use. So the course I want to use is my onboarding course. And the tag, this is the tag that I want to assign. So you'll see that I've got IT as a selection here and I want my tag to be IT as well. 
So there's my IT tag. And now I need to tell Airtable which column to look at to find the email addresses. So I will just make sure I've, I click on the email addresses column. And there we go. Then I'll click on next. And here I can preview my um, uh, data before uh, going to the next step. So here I've got someone called Emmy at EA Demo. So I can go here and look for Emmy. And here is Emmy. So I know that that filter view works. I can even double check and go to that name. And that name should correspond with that person over here. Um, but everything looks good to me. Now Zapier is grabbing all of the records from Airtable and matching it with Eduflow, uh, with what's shown up on Eduflow. Um, so I can here double check that everything is okay. But what I usually do is look at how many rows there are. So it shows that there are 11 rows and I can check here and there are 11 rows. So I know that this um, source data matches up with the destination data. And to select all of these, I'll click on uh, that button over there and select all and click on next and I'll hit this button that says send data. This might take some time to actually reflect on the Eduflow course because um, Zapier needs to send these records one at a time. So I recommend waiting a few minutes. Uh, Zapier might even send you an email to tell you that uh, your transfer is complete and when you are ready you can go to the Eduflow course and hit refresh and it should show the new tags. So here all of my learners have been tagged according to the spreadsheet. And the cool thing now is I can go back to my Airtable and I can just change my filter uh, back to let's say marketing and I can run the process again um, and tag all of my marketing people. So I'll go back um, exit transfer, I can then edit the same transfer. So here's my existing transfer, edit transfer settings, and I can run through all of the steps again. Um, but now all I need to do is to just uh, change the tag on Eduflow, on the Eduflow step. So you'll see here the tag, it used to be IT, but I now need to make it marketing to match my new filter view uh, on the Airtable. So here I'll go to next and I can again review. I'll say it looks good. This time there are 15 records. So I'll uh, select all. Let's double check. There are 15 records here. So I know I'm on the right track and I will go next and send data. And I can go back to the Eduflow account to check that the new tags reflect. There we go. So this is just one of the ways Zapier and Eduflow communicate to speed up your workflow. Uh, if you have any questions, you are, are welcome to um, uh, get in touch with our support team or to go to the Eduflow help center um, with where we have a bunch of articles about how to use these uh, features.